it's Paige Leanne, also known as I Heart Paige, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications, and let's get this started. Okay, y'all. So today, I'm definitely doing something different, y'all. It's different. I haven't tried it before. I know other people have tried it. I know you've probably seen a thousand, millions of these videos on YouTube, but you haven't seen Paige Leanne, I Heart Paige, do this video. So I'm here, like I'm finally trying it out. It's something new. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me doing the Flexi Rod sets. Yes, y'all. Um, I ended up getting these from Amazon and I just figured I wanted to try something different. I kind of like how everybody else curls turn out with the flexi rods. So I figured what the heck, I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. Um, I used to use rollers on my hair when I was relaxed. Not nah, natural, <laughs> relaxed. And my curls would kind of turn out good. So I figured what the heck, I give it a try. So I don't know if I'm gonna use the real little ones because I think what it is is little ones work with more definition and their bigger ones work with more volume. And if y'all know me, I'm not big on my hair being real big anyways. And I do like definition, but then I just don't want the curls so tight that, you know, I don't know how these do. So I'm not sure if they do like rollers. I guess I'm gonna find out. That's the only way y'all, I gotta try to find out. So I'm starting off on my hair freshly washed. I washed my hair, shampooed it, conditioned, did a Shea Bay deep condition, a Shea Bay hot oil treatment. And now this is the stage my hair is in. All I've done is apply my Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner, which I love so freaking much. Y'all, I love it so much. This is the best leave-in conditioner I've found for my hair and face hair, period. And I'm not saying that's not out there. It may be, but yeah, so far. So my hair is probably all flat right now, but I had to end up putting it into the cap. If y'all see some little flakes through there, I don't know if y'all do or don't. It's just the shave, eh? Don't be alarmed. My hair is cleansed, girl, yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to end up using the Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. By design essentials okay y'all so I ended up using their leave-in conditioner and I absolutely loved it so I was like you know it's a little bit more liquid like so it's not a thick leave-in conditioner like this one so this is why this is my favorite one because it's a thick one but I'm using this today so let's get this started so as y'all can see I've been trying to keep my hair wet because I know that's kind of what everybody always says to keep your hair wet. Make sure you coat it enough with the mousse or whatever you're using to set it and make sure it's detangled. So I have watched enough videos y'all to kind of have this down pack by now. It's just, is it going to turn out like that? Yeah. You know? Are 7, 8, 11, 16, 5, 8, 9, 16, a half, seven sixteen, and three eight. So it comes with six different sizes and it's a 42 pack. So yeah, I think I might use these more in the front, but either way, y'all, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and section off. Hope I can pull it from up there and I don't have to take it down. I'm not worried about the parting or any of that stuff because I'm going to put my cap back on as well so my hair won't get um too dry. So I'm just gonna go through it with my wide tooth comb and then I'm going through it as well with my denim brush to make sure it is completely detangled. This is the section I'm going to use. Man, I haven't used this type of spray, so hold on, this type of mousse. Okay, so just trying to make sure, am I supposed to shake this or something? But no, <laughs> it just comes out, y'all. Okay. Oh, wow, that smells so good, though. Oh, it's kind of soapy. 
It feels real soapy and weird. <laughs> I said soapy and weird. Okay, y'all. So I'm just going to make sure my hair is completely coated. Completely saturated in this stuff. Like, get this good stuff on my head. Okay, oh, wow. so... So a lot of people kind of twirling their ends before they put it on. So I've seen like two different ways you can do this. I'm not even gonna lie, do the yellow. I've seen people start up at the top and they do this way. And then I've seen people just roll it from the bottom. I think I'm going to try to roll it from the bottom and see how this goes first. Cause I don't want my ends coming Loose, did I roll that right? No, I so rolled that backwards. Let's try again. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I have never, like I said, I've done rollers, don't get me wrong, but are you supposed to keep it more in the middle or is it fine if it comes to the end? I wish y'all could help me through this. Like, I guess I could have done a live, but. This video would have probably been so long if it wasn't edited. Okay, so then once I twist it, I'm supposed to just fold the ends like this. Like that, maybe? Oh, yeah, it actually is in there. Oh, wow. Is it on there good? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Okay. And I don't know if I rolled it up too tight, but that's how I did it, y'all. So it kind of looks like a C or backwards, see whichever way y'all see it. So I'm gonna take this down real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this. I know I probably already talked too long, so I'm just gonna speed through it and let y'all see. I might show y'all more when I get to the middle and the front and try to get this back taken care of. So y'all continue to watch. So I'm basically just repeating the same process. I will detangle my hair and then I put the mousse in my hair and I basically just shingle it through my hair with my fingers first. And then I go in with my denim brush, make sure it is thoroughly detangled before wrapping it around the flexi rod. As y'all can tell, I changed up the way of me putting it in. And I seem to like that way better, starting from the root and then wrapping around until I get to the tip. And I basically just keep on twirling the tip around the flexi rod. In some kind of way, it just stays on there, I guess, because of the mousse. And then I take and basically just do the flexi rod, bend it so it won't come loose. So this one right here was definitely trying to give me hell, y'all. I am so serious. I was about ready to give up. Y'all can't tell the frustration in my face because I was holding it together. But this one definitely was getting on my nerves. And I had to realize that it's a certain way you have to turn these things because if you turn them away and you already have another one going that direction then it's going to bump into it and it basically just won't work so if you've never tried these just have patience it's easy so i don't want to make it sound like this is hard because this definitely is something that i could see myself doing more on wash days until i perfect it because i am a perfectionist y'all i keep doing stuff until i get it down pat so here I'm just jamming to some music, y'all, because I'm pretty sure everybody listens to music when they do their hair. If not, you got to try it. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm not even going to lie. I've had these things in my hair way longer than what I even expected. Um, I guess you can say I've had these in my head for about 24 hours now. Yeah, because it was yesterday when I put these in my head. It was around the same time when I recorded. I have went to sleep with them. And I actually even worked out this morning with these in my head. Yes, y'all. So I am beyond ready to take these things out. So I ended up doing what I told y'all and just letting them air dry and going outside and everything. And just, yeah, after I figured they was dry, I tied them down to kind of just make sure they stay nice and sleek. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them. I have here what I ended up using for when I straighten my hair. It is the cream of nature. 
and it's supposed to help with like anti-frizz and humidity and all that stuff and it has been really hot here so i'm hoping i can get this towel to last a little bit so i'm just gonna use two squirts of it and that's the thing you want to make sure that you're using something light if you're using an oil don't use anything really thick is what i've heard like cast oil or anything like that so right here, I definitely sped through this part really fast um, because it's pretty easy. I'm just taking them down one at a time, making sure I take them down carefully. And then I'm just separating them to my liking. And that is pretty much it, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So here is the finished look. I am too excited how it turned out, especially my front, y'all. I was like, oh my goodness, wow. But if you know me, you already know that my hair has like probably two or three different textures. So my curl patterns in the back is definitely different from the front. My front is a more looser curl pattern. So I think that is the reason why this is so defined. And then my back it's defined as well, don't get me wrong, because this is actually good definition for my back. And most of it is pent up. I went on and just put it in a bun and um, let y'all try to check it out. So I just went on and pent it up and put it in a bun because one, it wasn't really looking too good in the back to be hanging down. I'm just going to be honest. It was okay. And maybe it's just me. I'm so picky because it definitely has definition, but I just wasn't liking the way that was falling. And the shrinkage, y'all, is real. The shrinkage is so freaking real with my hair. So that is definitely another reason because my curls were like up to here. And y'all know my hair is like down to here. My curls stopped like way up here. Shrinkage be so disrespectful, y'all. I'm serious. Like it makes you feel like you haven't grew your hair any until you stretch it out and you're like, okay, yeah, devil, you a lie. Devil, you a lie. My hair is growing. You a lie. Keep that lie to yourself. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoy trying something different and just, you know, I did. I like how it turned out. I'm planning on trying to rock this for about a week. If I can just maintain it, it's my main thing for a week because working out and this type of style, I just don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to try to make it work, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Sharing is always caring. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.